From time to time, I'll get messages in my usually Instagram inbox asking me, or usually it starts with a compliment. I love how fearless, brave, confident you are. Um, I'd like to do the same thing, but I don't think I'm brave enough. Um, what should I do? In today's video, I'm gonna be answering that question. Hey the bosses, you are welcome once again. If this is your first time here, hey friend. On this channel, I talk about writing and creative entrepreneurship. If any of that sounds like your cup of tea, go ahead, hit that subscribe button to join our community. So how do you build more confidence? So let me start out by telling you that I didn't used to be very confident at all. You know, um, if you met people who knew me as a youngster, as a young G, <laughs> okay, um, they would tell you that I tended to be shy, um, tended to be a little bit more on the quiet side, um, cried a lot because I didn't like to you know be in confrontation so if anybody confronted me i would get really upset and i was just really introverted and awkward as a youngster over time though that has changed incredibly and um i'm just going to share some of the things that have happened over the years to help me break out of that and so people that actually now see me do youtube are usually a little bit surprised because they knew me <laughs> and they knew that i probably wouldn't do something like that anyway one of the first things i would say about building confidence is to first of all have faith enough to step out i did this video where i talked about overcoming fear and um you should check out that video but one of the things i've realized is that sometimes you just need to step out in faith and do whatever it is that you want to do just talking about having just stepping out and doing something boldly whether you feel the fear or not because the truth is that when when i started doing youtube videos i my heart would beat you know before i i i recorded a video when i started doing live videos my heart would always go ba -thump, ba -thump, ba -thump. <laughs> before i put a video out there so when i started i wasn't very bold actually if i if you go back and watch some of even the youtube videos i have on this channel you'll see that the vibe was a little different so um you know sometimes the first step really is just stepping out there and doing things with just bold faith whether your heart is going ba -thump, ba -thump, ba -thump, or not just go out there and just do it another thing is to stop caring what people think okay to really stop caring what people think now i'm not saying that you shouldn't have people in your life who can call you out from time to time and give you direction and wise counsel you should definitely have those people um because those people serve as uh, as as guiding as guiding posts for us and you should you should have that but apart from those people who are really like your advice givers who can you know call you out on your nonsense and get you back on the straight and narrow um it's it's important to to not care what people think um so you know why am i saying that before i started doing this before i started doing youtube i I began to think of what would my colleagues think, for instance. So why am I even talking about colleagues? I was working in science and research at the time. You don't see many scientists do what I'm doing. Um, and even if they are, there are not a whole lot of them. Um, it could easily be seen as something that is taking me away from more serious pursuits. Uh, I was afraid that people would then see me as being somebody that wasn't very serious in their career um, or distracted or somebody that I was uncommitted to to the pathway of healthcare and science and research. And so that bothered me for a while. And so even back then, I didn't even post on my LinkedIn that I, I had a YouTube channel. I never did because I was just really, really afraid of what people would think but and then also like people that i even grew up with i i was worried as to what people would think like okay what is Gertrude doing like you know again if if you ask people who 
I grew up with they will tell you it's kind of on the nerdy side so what is this girl this nerdy girl doing on YouTube like what like she, she studies science what's she doing you know so I was really really afraid of other people's judgments and comments but once I put myself out there okay I noticed a few things first they're gonna be the people that don't like it those people are actually very few okay they're very very few um, they're going to be one of two people like that. Then you're going to have the people who don't care because they have their own lives that they are living. And so they don't care what you're doing with yours. Really, they don't. They're living their lives. And then you're going to find that a majority of people actually cheer you on and say, good for you. Like, wow, you broke that mold and you went ahead and you did this. Good for you. So people's judgments of what you're doing first of all they don't matter and you you you'll be surprised to find out that when you step out in faith and actually take that step to do youtube or podcasting whatever it is you're trying to do that actually more people cheer you on so really don't care about other people's opinions Becoming confident also comes with doing something over and over and over again. Like I was saying, if you go watch some of my earlier YouTube videos, it was kind of weird and awkward. Like, really, like go back and look at some of those videos. I'll, I'll show you the exact ones to look at. They were weird and awkward and the video quality was poor, right? And, and I posted some of those videos five years ago or more. But today, it's a different vibe and that's because i've been doing it very very consistently especially over the last two years been very very consistent on my youtube channel and been consistent on like my instagram and also with linkedin and so i find that if you continuously do something over and over again ultimately you do build the confidence to do that thing so it's not like you don't get the confidence on day one right like even for naturally confident people if you speak to the people who look naturally confident if you speak to them you will be surprised to find out that they have their moments where they you know their moments of trepidation so it but then when you do it over and over and over again it becomes routine and becomes very familiar to you and you know the way that our brains are wired when something is familiar to us and we've done it over and over again our brains tend to not overthink it it's when it's brand new then your your brain thinks okay this is a threat you know and and there is a survey out there that showed that you know people were more afraid of public speaking than of death you know so like there's a real fear for putting yourself out there it's not just you you know a lot of people feel that fear but once you do it over and over and over again I'm not saying that you won't feel a little nervous sometimes, but ultimately it becomes like just a natural part of you and you can do that thing with ease. Those really are my tips on becoming confident. Take bold steps of faith. Don't care about other people's opinions and really just keep going as you keep doing and doing and doing. It will look imperfect in the beginning, but as you continue, it gets better.